Hey babe, um, can we talk? Please? I have something kinda important I want to bring up and it can't really wait. Oh, no, 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 I am not breaking up with you. I don't know why that's the first place you went, but no, that is not what this is. I just, I have a confession to make. Something I should have told you way earlier. I thought about it for a while and, well, I figured I should tell you before things get um, more serious. Well, I haven't told you because I wasn't sure what you'd think of me. It's... It's really big, like this huge important fact that you didn't even know about your own girlfriend and I'm really, really sorry for that. I know I should have gotten it out of the way straight away and been done with it. Even if you hated me for it, at least it'd be over with and I wouldn't have to be doing it now, four months into us dating. <sighs> okay, okay. I can do this. Can do this. <clears throat> I don't know, like, it's bad, and after everything you've done for me, the amazing things you've added into my life, I don't know if I want to risk ruining that by confessing what I. No, no, it's for the best. You deserve to know. You deserve to know four months ago, and I am only just delaying the inevitable. I can't be scared anymore. I've got to just. Get it over with. <clears throat> okay, here goes nothing. I... I'm... I am a vampire. What do you mean, yes, I know? That's not... No, there's no way. I've been subtle, and I've been sneaky, and I buried all the hints that maybe something spooky has been going on, and I hid my fangs from you. That one was a pain in the ass, by the way. But after all that, you still figured it out? Okay, I'm almost afraid to ask this, but how? How did you find me out? What do you mean it's obvious? It's not obvious. I did a lot of hard work to hide my vampirism from you. Like, yes, I know there's blood in the ketchup bottle because I thought you didn't like ketchup so it'd be a good hiding spot and that was a whole thing, but otherwise, I like to think that I've been clever and subtle about this. Haven't I? Yes, I know vampires only come out at night, but I figured you'd just think I was a late sleeper. Like a really late sleeper. If I wake up at 5pm and go to bed at 9 in the morning, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm a vampire. It could just mean I'm a person who makes really bad life choices. Besides, we'll never see each other at night since you go to bed when it's dark out. So you don't know how late I would stay up. Ugh, what are you talking about? Of course it is. It's only 4 a.m. Uh, okay. Maybe it is a little late for most people to be awake, but... Wait, why are you still up? Being up this late isn't good for your body, sweetheart. No, no, you're right. This isn't about you and your admittedly unhealthy sleep schedule. This is about you already knowing I'm a vampire. Of course, I get it. I mean, I I personally think that I've been like a ninja, sneaking the facts just under your nose. I have no idea how you piece it together with such a master of stealth hiding it from you. Well, I was kind of hoping you'd think it was just a cool novelty bed. How was I supposed to know you'd figure out what a real coffin looks like? What do I look like, a coffinologist? A casketophile? The wooden box enthusiast? I look like a vampire. Okay, that is impossible because I have been hiding my fangs from you. I have been wearing casual clothes. I have even used makeup to hide my pale skin. So how could I possibly look like... Oh, my eyes. Oh, okay, right. Okay, I'll be honest. I forgot my eyes were yellow. Kind of hard to remember your own facial features if you can't see them in the mirror, you know. Okay, well, if that's what gave me away, then you've... Probably known for a while, huh? 
Yes, my skin is also cold to the touch, but I was counting on you, just thinking I was cold and had bad circulation and maybe just giving me snuggles to make up for it. I mean, I didn't specifically mean right now, but I won't turn them down if you're offering. Hmm. Oh, no, no, darling. I would never bite you. Not without consent, at least. So you have nothing to worry about, okay? Okay, good. <sighs> You're the best at hugs, you know that? I would vote for you if you ran for the mayor of hugs, or the president. President Cuddle Q Snuggle Bug of Hugsville. And I'd be the first vampire first lady that we know of. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know I'm being silly. I'm just really, really awkward right now. Uh, but I meant what I said, okay? In your arms is where I feel the most comfortable and the most safe. Uh, so just to be clear, you really don't care that I'm a vampire? Like, not even a little bit? Ah, uh, That is a huge relief, my love. Honestly, like this immense weight has just been taken off my shoulders. Like I just worked eight hours and I can just take the rest of the day off. Like, like they fell asleep. <laughs> I guess it is pretty late for them, isn't it? I certainly need this. Sleep well, my love. I shall see you tomorrow night. Mm -hmm.